your God power. Get everything you ever wanted and live the life of your dreams. The Master's Course. Copyright 2010 by Richard Lee McKim Jr. All rights reserved. Let the quest for knowing begin. Change your past and your future by tuning your present now. Now that you know how to align your thoughts, words, and actions to match your meanings, let's see how tuning your present can change your past and alter your future. This is the true power of now. The only reason that now is so important and valuable is that it is the only time when you can experience anything and where you have any power. You can't experience something tomorrow until it becomes now. You can't do something yesterday. It has to be done now. Can you imagine telling someone, let's do that yesterday? Yesterday is gone. However, although you can't do anything different yesterday, you can change your yesterdays today in the now. What? What is that you say? Not only can you change your present experiences right now, but you can actually change your past experiences right now. What? That's right. I said you can change your past right now. The past is not fixed. Far from it. It is as fluid and as flexible as the present if you know how to adjust it. We can use a combination of resonance with our God power and you can change anything. Even if it's already over, whatever that might be, its effects can still be changed. Remember this, the only thing that has any weight and effect is meaning. Meaning is king, whether it is the past, the present, or the future. The first thing you have to do is tune your present. Like the example of the two radios above, you have to tune your now to be the perfect now, the perfect radio station. Like a radio, you have a lot of choices of what you can pay attention to. But unlike a radio, we have the ability to pay attention to many different things at the same time. You need to focus your attention on only what you want. Only pay attention to the types of circumstances and things that you like and want. Just like the guitar store, what you are thinking about is the basis of what you notice and can see. You create a resonant quality that lights up everything in your experience that is similar to what you are thinking about most of the time. So make it good. When you are happy in the present moment, and feel good about yourself, resonance does an amazing thing. It elicits the best memories from the past and elicits the best projections of the future. From your happy now place, your whole life seems to get better. Even the past improves and the future never looked better and never was better than it's going to be now. Wow. Okay, let's look at this illustration. This is an amazing illustration. Okay, basically you've got, in this illustration, you've got two points of view. The top one, in red, it says, eliciting and attracting the worst of everything. This guy, you can see the little thought balloon here. It says, things are not working out for me. And then you've got another guy that says, things are working out for me. He's eliciting and attracting the best of everything. So you got the two opposite points of view. Now notice, in this illustration, you've got elements that are in the middle that have an N on them. There's five elements. 
It could be, there's unlimited different elements it could be. But in this illustration, we've got five now elements. You've got the in on them. Those are the things that are going on right now. Maybe the place you live, maybe the job you have, the people you're with, your friends, your circumstances, whatever they are right now, those are your now elements. That's them. Now, you can see that over to the left, you got some past elements. Those are things that are from the past. Maybe the school you went to when you were growing up, whatever they may be, those are past elements. Those elements are over. They got the P on them for the past. Now, over to the right, you've got some future elements. Those are in blue. The past elements are in purple. The future elements are in blue. They got an F on them for the future. Now, those are things that are going to be. Haven't come to be yet, but they're going to be. Those are future elements. Now, the thing about it is, in any given situation, you have the elements of the now, you have elements of the past, and you have elements that are going to be in the future. But the thing is, the amazing thing is this, that your elements of your now, the way you view your now, alters your past and your future. If you really are happy about what's going on right now, if you say, you know what, things are really working out for me. I may not have a mansion. I may not have a million dollars in the bank. But you know what? Things are good. I have my good health, whatever. Things are really going good for me now. I can tell that things are good. When you have that attitude and you view the things that are going now, you may not be in a fancy house, but you know what? You got a house. You may not have a million dollars, but you know what? You got food on the table. It may not be the best job you ever had, but you know what? You got a job. And even if you don't have a job, guess what? You got potential to find the perfect job you ever wanted. It doesn't matter what's going on. There's good things about it. And if you know that no matter what your current elements are, remember, elements are neutral. If you feel good about it, you're going to be eliciting. You can see the green lines. You're eliciting the best view, the best response, the best outcome, the best results from your now elements. If you practice making your now elements great, seeing the best, hey, you know what? The job you got may not be the best, but you're making good money. Okay, you're seeing the best in it. You're seeing the best in the house you live in. You're seeing the best in the people you're with. You're seeing the best of your current situation. Make the best of it. See it in its best light. Give it, it the best meanings. From that place, the now feeling good place, the now happy place, as you look back to the elements of your past, guess what? You're eliciting the best memories, the best viewpoint from your past. And in your future, you're seeing the best possible projections, the best opportunities for the, for the future. But if you're like this other guy, oh, things aren't working out for me. I don't have the house I want. And oh, the economy's bad. And uh, this and that. We got global warming. And, uh, and, uh, and I got a flat tire. My car's a junk car, whatever. He's looking at the worst He's looking at the worst viewpoint of what's going on in his experience right now. His now really looks bad. Now it's the same now that the other guy had, but the other guy thinks it looks good. Because remember, the elements don't change. It's your view of them that changes. What you get from them changes. And what you get from them is based on the meaning you have for them. He's got a bad meaning. The car is bad. The house is bad. The job is bad. The friends are bad. Everything's bad. Don't have enough money. From that really bad meaning place, he looks back at his past and all he can see was how horrible it was. He can't get anything good out of that. It all looks bad to him. And when he looks into his future, man, does his future look bleak. As bad as it is now, he can sure see that it's going to be worse. And guess what? It really is. Because the things he's lining up in his future, based on how he's feeling about his present, it's going to be worse than it is now. It has to be. 
That's how it works. He's eliciting the worst. People are saying no right now. That would be saying yes to the other guy. And if they're saying no right now, he's not going to have the money for the future thing to be good, is he? No. This illustration is continued on the next video segment. Chapter number 7, segment number 8. To continue, go to How to Use Your God Power, Chapter Number 7, Segment Number 8. Let your quest for knowing continue.